Hello Twin Flames and welcome to the DM to the F reading for Sunday. So we're preparing for a new week but we are now in a new month. So what energy is your masculine in? So I'm going to use three decks of cards and I've used these cards today to do a pick a pile for members on Monday. So if you are a member make sure you check this reading out on Monday. So what do we need to know? Okay, what's the energy that's flowing in? So we've got the Sincerely Yours, the Divine Masculine XO, and this is by our soul sister, the Empress M. We've got the DM Draft Messages by the Empress M, and Open Heart Oracle Messages by Cat Cherry. So these are three gorgeous decks we're going to use to channel your masculine right now. So thank you, angels. What's the energy, please, around the masculine, and what does he want to say? What does the masculine want to confess to the feminine today? A few cards coming out there. What does the masculine want to confess to the feminine? What's his dark truths? What does he want to say to you? What does he want you to know? They're giving me fear. He's letting you know he's releasing fear. Wow. Look at this. Everything happens for a reason. This deck is by the amazing Sandra Cole. Divine masculine honesty and realizations. And clearly it's got mixed in. Because when I do put the cards back sometimes I mix them in by accident but there's no accidents everything happens for a reason and they always come out at the exact right time so clearly this card has a message for you so we're going to do that one first so all hail Sandra for that beautiful deck thank you angels so what's the energy so first of all he's saying I'm taking charge now I love this because as a divine feminine on this journey we have to let the masculine take the lead we have to release control, which means we stop messaging them, we stop trying to make things happen, we stop trying to force things, and we let them take the lead. So we take a step back, we start focusing on ourselves, loving life, giving back to ourselves, and the masculine takes charge. And he's saying, I'm taking charge of my life, and I'm walking away from habits, things, and people that I have outgrown and that no longer align with who I am becoming. So he's saying to you, I'm becoming somebody new. I'm being reborn in the energy of love and our connection for our mission, our relationship, our future, our commitment and our purpose. So I'm releasing things that no longer resonate with my energy. I've outgrown people. I've outgrown situations. I've outgrown my marriage, my karmic partner. I've outgrown my job, I've outgrown my lifestyle, my friends, and I'm changing for the better. Something new is coming in. Look at this, I'm coming towards you, love it. The energy of May, communication, power, faith. Even if he's in hermit mode and he's quiet or he's thinking, he's still coming towards you. Even if he blocks you or ghosts you or ignores you, he's still coming towards you. It is not over, it's just beginning. So he's really reassuring you he's taking charge and he's the one coming towards you. So you don't have to do anything divine feminine. Just sit back, relax, take a load off, take your shoes off and just chill because he's coming towards you. And that's the message from the other day. He said, I'm calling you soon, leave your phone on. He's saying to you, wearing a mask is just easier for now. So he's reminding you he does wear that mask. He hides who he is. Because he knows he needs to take charge. So this is him saying, I might be wearing a mask right now because it's easier, but not for long. I'm taking that mask off. I'm taking charge of my life. I'm seeing the truth. So if you're thinking, oh, you're wearing a mask, you know, and I mean by that, obviously, remember, thank you. The same, we've had the pandemic. So we've been wearing masks and those masks have come off. Just like we've taken those masks off, energetically your masculine is taking off his mask because when we wear a mask as well our voice can sometimes be muffled we can't hear it's like if you cover your mouth you can't hear exactly what you're saying so he may not have admitted his truth or muffled his words that's coming up so i'm also seeing this mask you may see this as the false mask he's wearing in his relationship or with his children or in his job or with his friends but i'm seeing this as like a muzzle or something covering his mouth like a shield that's coming away. So he can express himself and speak his truth and open up and be honest. He's saying to you, 
if only things were different. So he does visualise a different outcome and a different future. You know, when he sits there and he wishes he could just click his fingers and everything would be how he wants it to be. If only things were different. Well, they can be. And he's realising he now has the power to change his life, to make things different. If you want things to be different, you have to do things in a different way. So he's saying, I'm not going to keep going round and round in circles and doing things the old way because I know I need to change. And I dream about you constantly. He dreams about being with you. He dreams about things being different with you. He dreams about a future with you expressing himself, speaking his truth. So he's dreaming about you and you're dreaming about him. Could we meet for a little while? Now, as I said it, they made me gnash my teeth together, front teeth. So front teeth are about decisions and taking action because you become the front runner. So he's saying, could we meet up for a little while? So he is thinking about coming towards you, remember? I'm coming forward. I'm coming to you. And he's saying, can we meet up? So definitely wanting to meet up too. So making plans. Now remember, on Friday, he said, if I have to cancel my plans, be flexible. Okay, I feel this is him moving out of that energy where he's released, let go of his fears. And now in this energy of this new moon and this new month and this new power, he's saying, I'm ready now. So remember, if you had your plans cancelled at the weekend, and I know it's still the weekend, it's Sunday, but we're moving into the Monday. So if he cancelled his plans, he's now ready to reconnect and make a new plan. If this is him making a first plan, it's the best plan. So he's saying, could we meet for a little while? I just want to stare into your eyes. So he just wants to look at you, Divine Feminine. He wants to stare into your eyes. He's dreaming about that. He's visualizing how he can move forward to you. And lol, why can't I stop thinking of you? So he's saying, I can't stop thinking about you. Lol, he's laughing at himself. And he's also sending you lots of love. So why can't I stop thinking about you? I have to make this happen. I have to make it right. I have to bring in power. And I actually watched a tarot reading to see how you felt about me. So if you've been thinking, is he watching tarot? Is he interested in it? Is he watching readings? Something may have just popped up randomly on his YouTube feed or on his Facebook. And he thought, what's that all about? And it intrigued him and it made him curious. So he clicked on and oh, it's like when they watch a film or they watch something, it reminds them of you. This resonated with his energy about you. So he has watched the reason he's admitting that. He may not admit that to you, but he is admitting it now through his energy, through his 5D self. And he's saying, I've watched a reading about you and I'm curious about what this connection is. And I know it's real. So he's saying to you, this is the important one. This kind of got stuck in there for a reason it always blows my mind it happens quite often when I'm doing cards so I am taking charge of our connection and I'm taking charge of my life and walking away from habits things and people that I have outgrown they no longer serve me or align with who I am becoming and our future and he's saying lol why can't I stop thinking about you it's driving me a bit crazy so I've watched a tarot reading about us I'm dreaming about you and I want to come towards you. So can we meet up for a little while? And this could be in person. This could be online. This could be on Zoom, FaceTime. He's saying he wants to meet up so he can just look at you. And remember the Divine Feminine to the Divine Masculine reading the other night. You said, we don't have to talk. I just want you to know. I just want to know you're there. You know, we don't just, you don't have to say a lot because I do feel that the masculines are still struggling to get the words out or to communicate exactly what they want to say. But he does want to look at you and he wants to stare at you because he's obsessed with you. And this is also about looking at photos. You know, if he messages you, you he can't get the words out right now. Okay, it's hard for him. He gets overwhelmed. This is what I'm channeling. So if he messages you and said, can you send me a sexy picture? You know, and you think, what is that all you want? That's how he wants to look at you. He wants to stare into your eyes. He wants to look at your beautiful body. And he wants to connect with the energy of who you are. 
So go with this. Remember who you are, Divine Feminine. Be confident. Sit back, relax. Take your shoes off. Take a load off, do you? Because he is taking the lead. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.